everybody, this is Emma with Emma Stasco Photography. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do an eye swap. I don't do this a lot, but it's really good for um, kids and babies, especially little ones. She was, I think, six or seven months old in this picture. Um, and babies tend to look away from the camera a lot. They just kind of look at everywhere. So sometimes you get a great shot and they won't be looking at it like this one. Like, I really like this shot. Um, but I want her to be looking at me. So I'm going to take the eyes from this picture and I'm going to put them on here. I've already cropped this picture down, but that's all I've done. Nothing else has been done with it. You want to make sure that you do this. If you're going to do a head swap or an eye swap or anything like that, you want to do it before you do the edit. So this is my final edit. So if I was to do the eye swap now, it, the color wouldn't match from this picture to this one. So you want to do it right at the beginning before you even do any of your skin smoothing or retouching or anything. It's the first thing I do if I need to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso tool and I am going to just take the eyes here and select the eyes and then I'm going to hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC. I'm going to go to my image that I want to put the eyes on. Just zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Hit Command V or Control V and there's your eyes. So I'm gonna adjust the opacity here. I'm gonna turn it down to about 50 percent so that I can see where I'm putting the eyes. So this is my eye layer right here. So I'm gonna hit Command T or Control T for PC and that's gonna select them. So the hardest part I think is just getting them lined up just right. Everything else is really easy. So I'm just gonna start resizing. The angle's a little bit different on these eyes as well. So I'm just going to adjust them here, and then I'm just going to start resizing them, kind of eye it. And like I said, this is probably the hardest part, and adjusting your opacity definitely helps, helps you see what you're doing a lot better. Well, this is getting pretty close already, just a little bit more adjusting. Okay, that's good enough for now. You get you get the point. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my opacity, bump it back up, and now I'm going to add a layer mask, uh, which is right here. If you're not familiar with layer masks, you definitely need to get familiar with those. It's a huge part of Photoshop. So I'm going to get my layer mask, and then I'm going to select, select my brush tool. Make sure it's at 100%. It's on normal. And whenever you have a layer mask, if it's white, you want a black brush. If it's black, you want a white brush. If you have a white and white, it's not going to do anything. So I actually want to invert this, switch this to black. So I'm going to hit Command I or Control I to invert it and take the eyes away completely. And then I'm going to click on my black, have my white brush, and then I'm just going to resize my brush a little bit, and then I'm going to paint over those eyes. You can see they're still a little bit crooked, so that's definitely something that needs to be worked on. But for educational purposes, we're not going to prolong it. You get the basic concept. So there you have it. You've put your eyes on there. You can adjust them, move them around. I think they need to go down just a little bit. And then you can see you go from her looking away to looking right at me. And there you have it. That's it. And then, like I said, this is your final image. Make sure you do it before you do any other edits but it's that easy and it literally takes I mean once you've done it a few times it takes no time at all it's so easy um, that's it thanks a lot have a good day